current and former residents of Anhoa. What's your I'll never live in Anhoa again story? I'm being charged $400 because of a violation for a bush overhanging my walkway. I don't have a walkway. Or a bush. The picture isn't even my house. They won't back down. Take a picture of your house and tell them that you fixed the problem by removing the offending bush and the walkway and all the landscaping is done and fresh grass is growing already. I got a hoa violation for my neighbor's vines growing into my yard. We got a letter because one Saturday my mom had a wheelbarrow full of mulch on the driveway. While she was planting flowers. We also got the police called the weekend we moved in because there were too many cars in front of the house. Mostly because we were still unloading the moving truck. My old house's backyard bordered the Hoa community. Our house was built 30 years before the community was built so we weren't part of it. We used to get notices about violations and fines if we didn't correct them. Never did correct them. They finally sent legal papers to repossess our house. Went to court with a tax map that showed our property not part of the Hoa community. Judge dismissed their suit against us and found them guilty of harassment. We didn't get awarded much. But I made sure to break every rule of theirs I could until we moved. My daughter was a lifeguard at the pool in our community and they weren't allowed to give out certain equipment. It was for swimming lessons. One day the HOA president asks for equipment and my daughter says no as she was instructed. The HOA president actually says do you know who I am? Then he proceeded to call her boss. When I was a kid my parents had a house in a nice caldy sack. But it was a working class neighborhood. The transmission in my truck took a doo doo so I replaced it in our driveway. A few days later we got a letter citing a clause stating all improvements done on property must be done by a licensed contractor. It was a far reach but they stood by it as there was nothing in the CC and R's against working on personal vehicles. My dad made me pay him back for the fine but for a while afterwards I'd go put some oil or coolant under the Hoa president's cars and hope he wasting money chasing a non-existent problem. Hoa lost paperwork for change of ownership when we bought our house. They sent us letters saying there would be a lien placed on our home if we didn't pay the overdue amounts plus over $200 of late fees. I had to call them 3 times to even get someone on the phone who knew how to help me. Then I contacted escrow who said they had already not only sent all the paperwork. But turns out we had already paid the fees. Called her again and they were insistent that we hadn't paid or sent over paperwork. Called escrow again and requested they contact the HOA themselves to sort this out and HOA still insisted we owed a late fee. Started losing my shit until escrow said they would pay the late fee. A month later we got a letter in the mail saying we were being fined for leaving our trash bins out longer than necessary. Fuck her. No huge issues. Just up to the minute griping about every little thing. We were in the middle of moving in and got an astogram about some boxes on the side of the house. Waiting to go out with recycle. Got another one about our lawn right after it was scalped and winter grass planted. They apparently didn't approve of nature's time frame on growing grass. Moved back to the old neighborhood. No hoa. And city code takes care of 90% of the BS. Weeds. General eyesores nuisances. Etc. Close bracket. No hoa ever again. I have no plans of putting a weight bench in my front yard but damn it. I want the option. I was just learning to drive and parked my car too far away from the curb. Parents and neighbors didn't get along so neighbors measured the distance from the wheels to the curb and parents got fined. Now I'll live in the country with pretty much no rules. We have goats and emus in our front yard. We had a cookie cutter house built. One of the color palettes we could choose from included an accent color for the door shutters that was a dark purple. The hubs and I are a little kooky so we selected it. At our final walkthrough. Our door and shutters are brown. I tell the general that it's wrong and show him my contract. We were the only homeowners in the subdivision that selected that color. So the hoa decided to not offer it anymore. We said fine. That puts you in breach of contract and we want to be released. A few phone calls later. My door and shutters are purple and I'm happy. We purchase the house. At least once a year we got a nasty letter from the hoa about our unapproved door color. 
Every time I sent them a copy of my contract and their bylaws stating that the colors from the builder are allowed. Not my problem you guys discontinued it after I picked it. I was putting on new siding. Very obviously too. Had ladders up and everything. But there was just plywood up one morning on part of my house. Facing the street. I got a knock on the door at 7. 30 AM. A code enforcement officer, in uniform. Looking vaguely like a cop, was visibly upset and acting like I'd taken a dump on the front sidewalk or something. Told me if I didn't have the siding up by the end of the day I'd start getting fined every day. My grandparents lived in an old folks community with a zealous hoa. My grandmother had to go to the hospital. Cause of her many health problems. My grandfather would go with her. This happened once when I was visiting. There was a knock on the door at about 10 a.m. Two elderly women with clipboards immediately jump into a speech about how the trash cans hadn't be brought in. I explained the situation. One of them said she was in the hospital the previous week but still managed to bring in her trash can and handed me what looked like a ticket for $50. Fuck. That. Shit. This didn't happen to me but several years ago a co-worker told me about how she and her husband put in a small and ground pool in their backyard. They got all of the required permits and everything and nobody said boo during the weeks of construction. After the pool was installed and they were getting ready to open it. The HOA sent them a letter informing them that it was in violation of the HOA rules and it had to be removed. I guess their community had a public pool at the clubhouse or something. Comma they ended up going to court and spending thousands of dollars to fight it. In the end. They agreed to erect a high privacy fence around it so that it wouldn't be visible. How ridiculous. I love reading contracts and agreements so when a friend of mine told me about his hoa troubles and not letting him keep his boat behind his house I jumped on the opportunity. After reading. Sourcing and finding a few rulings I learned that they have very little power to enforce what they can't see from the road, which affects property value. He took my documentation to the HOA and requested that they remove his fines. They refused saying the agreement says nag 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 and after a few months he finally paid a real estate lawyer $2000 to go talk circles around the HOA and they finally backed down removed his fines and allowed him to keep his boat. Then out of pure spite and with my design we built a 40 feet tall temporary structure. Conforming to both the horror agreement and building code to fly a flag on a further 25 feet pole. We took it down and put it back up every 3 months for a year. You could see it from almost anywhere in the neighborhood. It was a real triumph and IT was hideous. The most shocking part of this is that the couple ultimately escaped the horror actions just because he was in the armed forces. Otherwise the hoa was legally in the right to foreclose on the house for a dereliction of just $800. And selling a $300. 000 for only $3. 200 is just okay. Who writes such laws for hoas? When my folks moved into their home. They noticed a couple of dead trees and had someone take them down. The tree guy suggested they take down two more leaning trees that were likely to fall down if they got hit with high winds. My dad scheduled the second round of trees to come down a couple weeks later. In the interim. The hoa contacted my parents and said that they had unapproved work done by removing the dead trees and that they would have to get hoa approval to remove anymore. My dad had the tree guy send over a report about the dangerous trees to the hoa. The hoa refused to allow my parents to take the trees down. My dad cancelled the appointment with the tree guy. Fast forward 3 weeks and a hurricane blows through. Which isn't unexpected since this is Florida in September. Like the tree guy predicted. Both leaning trees came down and completely destroyed the neighbor's roof. The neighbor was pretty cool about it. But his insurance tried to get my parents to pay for it. Claiming they knew the trees were dangerous and didn't have them removed. My parents sent along the rejection letter from the hoa and told the insurance company to have a chat with them instead. I'm not sure what happened beyond that but I know my parents didn't have to pay. There were 366 units spread out on over 200 plus acres of land. One of the residents got fined $1. 250 for putting outdoor Christmas lights on two trees in front of their unit. Outdoor decorations being prohibited beyond residents front door entryway. Hoa lost my quarterly check. 
sent a notice that I didn't pay an October quarter. Showed them the receipt from when I dropped it off. Then started naming each quarter before until I didn't have receipt proof they received it and then it was that is the one you didn't pay. Tried to charge an extra $5 for something. Sold the house and moved far away. They never cashed it. I learned to do a better job of balancing my checkbook after that. I had it marked in the checkbook and in my records. But when I went back through bank statements, it had never turned up. Had that check cancelled after that. They wanted me to switch the color of the light bulbs I used outside. Nah. I don't need someone who is that picky to have any power over my property. At that point. It's no better than renting. Edit. They were the wrong hue of white. My former condo hoa threatened to take me to court over the color of a light bulb inside my condo. They said I'd altered the exterior appearance of the building since it could be seen through the window. I'm the treasurer of our hoa. We pay $250 a year to cover road maintenance. We make sure that is all we worry about. We get Karens at meetings all the time complaining. We politely tell them we maintain the road and that is it. We have 18 laid back neighbors and 2-3 Karens. We rented a condo from the people who owned it and it was associated with the HOA. We like to grow things but there was no balcony so we just had two large pots. One on either side of our door. We got a notice one day that we had to get rid of our only plants because they didn't fit the aesthetic of the building. Or something. Basically. They were too ugly. They also didn't have a room to discuss whatever it is they discuss at meetings. So they would do it in the gym for some reason. They'd move all of the equipment to the side and set up their tables and chairs and then never moved anything back. One time I accidentally barged in on them in my workout gear and I actually had the nerve to ask them if there was a boardroom I could work out in. I said it on my way out. So I don't know what their response was. But yeah. We didn't renew our lease there. I bought a house in a development that had died. My house was built in the 70s. But a new developer came in and as houses started being built everywhere. They enacted the HOA clause and populated it with rich retired folks that just make up fking rules. Wrote a rule that you had to put up a fence around your backyard. So I did. They didn't like my fence so they changed the specifications for the fence. I got irritated and had a friend give me a dead feral hog to hang on a post in my front yard. The dogs in the hood loved me. It didn't solve anything but since I had a dog door I would sometimes wake up with 15 dogs around my bed who came in during a storm. I was the crazy redneck. But the dogs loved me and I like them more than humans. I once worked with a guy that would brag about driving around his neighborhood looking for hoa violations and reporting them. He really seemed to get off on ratting others out for the most minor of infractions. Of course this is the same guy who, after his wife was laid off, lent her money with interest for her car payment. What a prick. My wife's aunt and uncle live in a whole neighborhood. Their current problem is that the ground is higher than their first level and it's slopped towards a group of condos. Every time it rains bad. Their condos flood. They don't have basements. Hoa won't do anything and it seems a few of their residents are lawyering up. This has happened since they put in a storm drain and for some reason it backs up into their common area which is behind the group of condos. Hire a civil engineer specializing in hydrology. Flood control is complicated and it's not always obvious what the cause is. My dad was a hydrologist. His job was split evenly between designing the systems that prevent this kind of thing before any construction is done and acting as an expert witness in court to apportion the blame when the aforementioned job was done poorly or not at all. Put three kids though college explaining water flows downhill to people, that was one of his favorite dad jokes. My HOA president walks around the neighborhood every day and takes pictures of any violations he finds. There is a management company that does monthly checks for violations. But that's not enough for this old. Bored. Retired man. About a month after having a baby I got a knock on the door from the HOA president. Which I answer in my post-surgical breastfeeding outfit. Because a palm frond hadn't been trimmed after being down for 3 days. Then I got a written notice the next day. Then I got another notice 2 days later. 
the hoa maintains the roads and there's a 15 mile per hour speed limit. People drive pretty slow. These idiots put in 3 speed bumps on a 200 foot stretch of road. I've never seen anyone blast through and I regularly go on walks. They also put up a security camera. Raising our monthly dues. Because one neighbor left their garage door open all day and someone took a few things. We clearly live in a dangerous area full of criminals s. I can't sell yet. But when I do. Never living in a hoa again. This sort of fits. I lived with my wife in officer housing on a military installation. Of course we had to follow certain rules so everything looked shipshape. That wasn't hard to do. What did get under my skin was the colonel driving around. Taking notes. And then having her underlings issue tickets to residents for minor infractions. The one that sticks in my mind was the suckers. As they were called, I had never heard the term before. Although I kept my grass mode per regulation. The little maple tree seeds would sprout up overnight and be an inch taller than the grass. I got a ticket for suckers in my lawn. Even though the grass was freshly mowed. Okay. Sure. I'll just mow the lawn every goddamn day. Sheesh. I never lived under an hoa. But that experience was enough for me to realize hoas weren't my thing. I've never lived in one. But I remember a story where a guy wanted to build something like an 8 foot privacy fence. The hoa said the fence couldn't be higher than 5 feet. The wording only said fence. So he built a 5 foot concrete partition. And stuck a 5 foot fence on top of it. Forcing older and or somewhat handicapped dog owners to produce a doctor's note stating they are unable to use the stairs because of a rule of no dogs in the condo's elevator. Not because of potentially vicious dogs in an elevator cab. It was because they felt that people's dogs were leaving a mess and they weren't cleaning it up, which I never experienced. The dogs. By that rationale. Could still leave a mess not cleaned up in a stairwell or hall. I sent the board an x-ray of my knee with screws in it to avoid a $500 fine. That got hit down with the threat of an ADA lawsuit. Now anyone can use it. I live in Florida and have the pleasure of living in a Hoa neighborhood while not being a part of the Hoa. Apparently there are a total of 3 houses in my neighborhood not part of the Hoa. And I was fortunate enough to have bought one of them. Ever previous owner refused to sign into the Hoa. And I have continued this tradition. Best part is getting all sorts of fines. Letters. And people knocking on my door informing me of stupid trivial violation. I just get to laugh at them while I explain I'm not a member of their stupid little club and therefore not beholden to its rules. At one point they had my truck towed out of my driveway because of the hoa's no truck policy. I simply called the cops and reported it stolen. It was found at a local impound lot. And returned to me free of charge. The hoa ended up having to pay for the tow impound fees. And tried on several occasions to pass those on to me through fines. Finally had a lawyer write up a cease and desist letter telling them to leave me alone or I'll press charges for the theft of my truck and harassment. That was 6 months ago and I think they finally figured out they have no authority to tell me squat because I haven't heard from them since. My husband and I have a home with an hoa our most recent letter was a picture of our trash can out on the street. Basically telling us that we put our trash out too early for pickup. The photo was taken on Friday at 3 p.m. and trash pickup was on Saturday at 6 a.m. So they sent us a letter that is isn't acceptable. Also one of the lights on our garage had gone out and we received a letter with a picture about that as well. That we had to fix it immediately or be fined. We're also not allowed to park on the street without a pass from the hoa hung in the car. We didn't know this and we're moving in at the time. We parked one car in the driveway and one on the street. Grabbed some boxes. Went inside with them. And by the time we came about out there was a huge neon sticker on the window telling us the rules and that we were vetoed. That sticker was a BTCH to remove. And we were literally parked there for maybe 10 minutes at that point. So annoying. I got a letter saying I needed to clean my roof. Mildew built up on it. It's Florida. It happens. It was bad. And I was about to pay a company to do it anyways but I got the letter first. Went ahead and paid $250 for a company to clean it and got a 2 year warranty. 
Then of course I drive around and notice 90% of the homes in my community needed their roof cleaned. Most are worse than mine was. Waited 2 months to see if they were going to take care of it. Nothing happened. Had a neighborhood kid fly his drone up and take pictures of all the roofs. Proceeded to email the company the pics and asked why me only. Haven't gotten a response yet. Can't wait to move out of here. Never lived in one but worked in plenty as a landscaper. They suck. One account. Ho is responsible for getting landscapers for the front yards. The backyards are the responsibility of the homeowner. Owner is a lady in her 70s. And hired us to cut her backyard due to complaints from the Hoa president. First time I show up. I use a small push mower and as I leave I am met by the president who just happens to be her neighbor. He's complaining the small push mower left wheel marks leading to her backyard. On her property. Which he is claiming is his property. Every time I went there after he would be waiting for me to be done to complain about something and the only reason I was there in the first place was because his nosy ass was upset his 70 year old neighbor couldn't mow her backyard once a week herself. Hoas are a hyper local form of government and suck even more than a regular government. I was house shopping. I walked into a house and there was a pile of human fesses in the middle of the floor. I was stunned. The realtor was let me call the hoa about this. Not the homeowner. Not the listing agent. But the hoa. The hoa had seized a person houses over a fee and forcibly were selling it. I wish I could have made that pile a little larger. My co-worker just bought a hoa house and immediately got two fines for a tree hanging further and a brick missing from her fence. That the prior owner refused to repair. Literally seven days after signing the paperwork. The hoa I was a part of wasn't super onerous. But it was a relatively new subdivision and the rules were written by the developer. Including the one where to change remove any rule the vote had to be unanimous. And every member of the hoa, approximately. 100, had to vote. Kind of a DCK move parting shot on the developer's part if you ask me. We got an okay to have potted plants. I'm a college student and so I can't afford fancy architectural pots like my neighbors. I used Home Depot buckets for my bigger plants, tomato and peppers, and got a violation for having out construction supplies. With 4 foot plants growing out of them and a prior okay. They would not budge on it amd we eventually just spray painted them black. But after doing that I was nervous to eat anything from the plants because some paint got on them. So I never got to enjoy the fruits of my labor. Open bracket. Had a member of the board drive up and yell at me while I was moving in because the moving van was in the street. Parked it in the driveway but it stuck out into the street about 2 feet. Woke up the next morning and there was a warning posted on the moving van for sticking out into the street. Welcome to the neighborhood. Ended up living next door to the biggest asshole in the neighborhood too. These were zero lot line properties and he put an above ground pool in the side yard between our two houses. There's supposed to be 3 feet space along the side of the house for access but his pool went from his wall to my wall so you couldn't even walk between the properties. Then every time they went swimming the pool walls would flex and bang my house. I wrote multiple letters to the hoa but they didn't do anything. Moved out shortly after the pool incident. I'll never live in another hoa. My family was fined for putting up a fence when we put a 12 inch tall wire border around our flower bed. My friend was fined in a different hoa because her garage, that was painted by the same company at the same time and with the same paint, was a different color than her house. It wasn't. The hoa president delivered the violation notice to her on the day of her husband's funeral. Yes he knew that she, 46 year old, had just lost her, 48 year old, husband 4 days before. I rent in a community that is a mix of renters and homeowners. The rental company has been trying to get approval to fix my deck for over 3 years now. I can't wash my car in my driveway but I also can't have a dirty car. The leasing consultant when explaining the HOA rules for the renters literally said that renters can't do anything homeowners can do. Lastly. The HOA randomly enforce outdated rules and regulations that can't be legally enforced anymore. The rental company lawyer really comes through during those times. We got a notice that our mailbox post wasn't white enough. Meanwhile. 
a house down the street had a tarp on the roof covering a large hole the entire time we lived there. 5Y, and their deck literally was in shambles and not safe to walk on. And the weeds in their yard were easily mid thigh high. It pissed me off because we'd go on vacation and come home to a letter about an unkempt yard. Oh, 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 oh. My mom used to live in a hoa neighborhood and the habits she picked up are fking annoying me. She would keep overflowing trash inside the house unless it was the night before pickup and then freak out when I take the trash out on a not allowed day. Me asking my neighbors for help as her going why would you do that? Now they're all up in our business. Double quote. I live in a hoa. We are outside of city limits so the hoa takes care of the roads. Snow plowing. Our two parks. And our water treatment. So. Can't complain there. And our hoa dues are cheap. They also try to keep up with making sure no one keeps junky cars on blocks in the driveways. And that lawns are maintained. So. That's all good. But. There are some nitpicky things. 2. Sheds must be the same color as your house. And many of us would love to raise chickens. One stroke two acre lots. And they are not allowed. We've tried to get that changed but so far. Nope. Lived in a hoa where many people owned dogs. I went and got one myself. We had a large shared backyard. No fence. So I'd put him on a long leash for him to go enjoy it. I could sit out with him or easily watch through the window. My dad had a spat with the neighbors so they decided to complain that they didn't feel comfortable using the yard with the dog there. For one. He's the sweetest boy in the world. Loves everyone. Secondly. They've never used the yard before anyways. They put a tiny little fence around their pad. Anyway. I guess despite everyone else doing it. It is against the rules to have a dog on a long leash. So I had to take him out with a hand leash. So I'd walk him right over in front of their pad. And just stare as he did his business. They stopped coming outside because they were very cowardly when it came to any confrontation. We also complained that their dogs were off leash and scaring people. Since their fenced in pad was deemed shared space. They to stop letting their barky rats out. OMG. So many things. These are modern day fiefdoms that have no use in decent society. For the connivance of having an admin hire undocumented people to clean the pool and cut the lawn I traded hundreds of dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign per month. And the final say in things like what flowers could be in the yard. What windows could be installed. Who I could sell my condo to. Etc. Oh. And if there is a nightmare neighbor partying all night and leaving beer cans and cigarette butts on your deck and threatening you that's your problem to work out with them and feel free to call the police when your safety is in danger. Never again. Our neighbor was flooding our backyard and the hoa property from her drain by overwatering. The hoa sent us an extremely rude and unprofessional note telling us we can't drain our pool onto their property. We don't have a pool. We replied to their letter with food. A couple weeks later I got out of the shower to see the hoa president and his wife with a ladder propped against our shared fence peering into our backyard to look at our not a pool. I walked out buck naked and asked if I could help him with something. He died a few years later, thankfully. Comma and his wife, who isn't even officially on the hoa board. Just a busy body, recently stopped by our garage to ask if we were watering and damaging their fence. She tried to introduce herself and I simply said we've met before while looking her straight in the eyes. When my neighbor spray painted all over my yard. Cleaned his car mats in my yard. Stole a sign from my yard. Taught their dog to pee in front of my front door. And when confronted they said they didn't realize it was bad to those things. The hoa thought I was the one being unreasonable. This was all the same neighbor. Edit. We have video proof of everything. I got a violation for a fence not built to regulations. The city had taken my land and four beautiful old trees for road widening. I didn't even own the land anymore and the state had built a fence without consulting me. It took six months and a letter from the state to clear it up. Once had a nosy employee take a picture of the outside of my bathroom window because I had a toilet paper roll up in the window. And then sent me the picture in an email telling me I had to take my toilet paper down. 
I remember an ex-GF mom lived in Anhoa. They bothered us BC we set up a ping pong table in the garage. The mom was a semi-pro. Olympic level ping pong player decades ago. Saying the garage was only for cars and that if we had an issue we should go through all this crazy bureaucratic crap that rivals the most ridiculous red tape required to dispose of radioactive waste. It was wild that moment I decided, yay no. If you're gonna charge so much for a ref king house and not let us use it. I get it you want your neighbors to keep yards clean and whatnot, but Jesus Christ a foldable ping pong table used to dash 3 times per month just seemed excessive. I was doing some work in the yard and had a 5 gallon Home Depot bucket on my driveway. After about an hour I took the bucket back in the garage and went inside. A week later my hoa sent me a 3 page letter with a picture of said bucket on my driveway saying it detracted from the value of my neighbors homes. It was on my driveway for an hour. While I was working. Can't make this up folks. As a kid me and my parents lived in a hoa neighborhood. And had a lovely big backyard at the base of a big mountain. It had a creek right behind it that ran past multiple houses next to us. So. Something important is how my mum has always wanted chickens. A neighbor two houses from us had chickens. Geese. And a turtle. She decided she should get some. And my mum sent a request to the hoa. Apparently we were out of range of the chicken allowance area. Because of how close to the mountains we were. Cougars came near us often. They said that they didn't want any attacks. You think a cougar will see the house with the chickens and go wow. Some delicious food. Hoopsie. It's in the hoa chicken okay zone. Looks like I can't eat them. While living with my mother and siblings in Nevada. A huge storm hit the area and did a ton of damage. During the night. We heard something close to the sound of a garage door slamming down or a huge crack of lightning. The following morning we get up to let the dog out to find that the huge tree in the raised portion of the backyard had uprooted and fallen. It took out our fence along the sidewalk. A small place in the yard. The back porch. And nearly wrecked the farmer's right side of the house itself. We had a leaky ceiling over there for a while. Komahoa told us we needed to get the tree out. Away and the damage fixed immediately due to it being an eyesore. Like we weren't trying already. I get along with my hoa well. Basically whenever they started shti with me. I was like. Okay guys. This is war. I'm going to fck up the whole community. And then do enough things to shake them up a little. And then they'd cut out their bullshit and so would I. Because whatever line they are crossing. It is no longer worth it. By the end of it we had a very good understanding and got along well. They didn't mess with me and I didn't mess with them. Paid my fees on time. And so on. There wasn't even really tension. People were pretty relaxed and nice. The boundaries were established and respected. But yay. At least for me. The old Israel strategy of I'll do 10 times the damage of whatever you do to me worked really well. Well of course there are stories that make you laugh and cry. I trimmed some trees on a Monday morning. Went in for lunch. Moved the cuttings round to back driveway to be picked up next morning. Yes you guessed it. Got a letter from home management company for rubbish on front lawn. Anyway got the last laugh. Got enough votes at annual meeting to fire them. Now president and myself run it. Board supervisors. I lived in Anhoa with my parents for 7 years down in northern Texas. We had a small tornado come through our backyard one night while I was at work. And it knocked down both the fence diving the front yard from the backyard as well as the fence between us and our neighbors behind us. The HOA agreement included coverage for natural disasters. Yet when my parents and our neighbors went to the HOA to get the fences fixed. The HOA kept denying them. Three months later and the threat of a lawsuit for breach of contract and they finally fixed the fence. I will never live in a HOA because it's too much hassle. I don't want to have a bunch of entitled people tell me what my house can look like or fine me for not cutting my grass to a specific measurement or whatnot. Lived in a condo for 4 years. Sold and bought a house this past July. First year we lived there hoa fined us for having no lid on the trash cans I went outside. Took a picture of my trash cans with the lids on. And sent it to the hoa. And they said sorry. 
Our mistake. A couple months later. Same thing. Then a few months later we got fined when our trash barrels blew away. After they were emptied the wind took them. And I brought them in the garage when I got home from work. They sent a fine to everyone in the complex. So we all appealed. They then fined me again. When a neighbor put out a cardboard box that blew onto our driveway. I refused to pay that fine and they sent it to collections. Last one was after we moved. I got a letter from the hoa delivered to my new home. Stating that the new owners didn't pay the August hoa. And I was responsible. What? In Salt Lake City we got fined every winter for having our Christmas lights up past the 14th of January. Anyone who lives in ice and snow knows you can't actually remove the lights from your roof because you will slip and die and all the lights see iced into the gutters. We were really tight on cash a few years ago and had to literally cut through the ice and cables around the whole house so we wouldn't get fined ruining all the lights. Fuck hoas. Most of the time they're just bitches, guy girl nb lol, in power suits. We just moved into a brand new house in a newly developed neighborhood. Hoa was established after our house and fence were built. Hoa sent us a letter saying our fence violated the Hoa regulations. That was set after its construction and had to be removed. One note from our lawyer threatening to sue and they backed off real quick. Guess who is now the vice president of the Hoa and has the power to keep the Hoa from being jackasses. Yep me. My parents looked into buying a place in an area within Hoa. It was summertime so he had his restored International Scout 2 Traveler out. It was absolutely mint during the showing. He was told that his vehicle was too old and he couldn't keep it there. They didn't even finish the showing. I'm lucky. My horror isn't nitpicky like some of the stuff I've read here. One of my neighbors works construction. Started replacing his siding and didn't have time to get the job done for months. Two small kids and another on the way. Instead of finding him. The Hoa persuaded him to bring a small envoder home to help remulch the playground. Everybody won. Our Hoa charges pretty high fees per month. But all of the trees in our shared spaces are dead from not being watered and there are weeds in those areas taller than a fence. Supposedly our biggest cost every year is landscaping and watering. The Hoa management company is a joke. We were renting a town home when the community went 0% rentals. That caused so many renters to get kicked out. And about 15% of the homes in the neighborhood went up for sale as soon they were out. Prices plummeted as everyone who had been renting for years undercut everyone else to sell quickly. As they couldn't afford both mortgages anymore. Meanwhile we had to come up with new rental money within 2 months. We ended up renting renting a room with friends and moving back in with our parents respectively for six months so we could save up properly and got the place we're in now we are looking at buying a home now and the number one stipulation was no hoa anyone living in arizona and getting hoa violations just know that they are not collectible in court you do not have to pay them and they cannot take you home or put a line on it due to violations source i worked in the industry for years as an executive not my hoa but I know someone who was told to pull up freshly planted flowers because they weren't an approved type of flower. I almost got taken to Hoa Court because I refused to take down a small political yard sign. Not me but I had a boss of mine that lived in a Hoa neighborhood. They had a community playground for the kids that needed to be mowed. They spent 3 months trying to find the proper person to mow the yard and finally my boss went and mowed it with his personal lawn mower. The following week he got a citation from them saying that he was not an authorized landscaper and not allowed to mow and weed eat the playground. The funniest thing about it is his wife was part of the hoa. I bought a fixer upper that has been abandoned. Very run down and not livable so we started on the inside to get in quickly while staying with my parents. Received a letter a week after closing fining us for the paint chipping on the outside. They gave us 7 days to fix it even though it has been abandoned for years. It was a great welcome to the neighborhood. We had to delay everything to paint the outside of a house while leaving the piss stained carpets in. Priorities. During the lockdown they came around and find anyone who had sidewalk chalk drawn in front of their house. Man. The petty energy of them. 
there might be hopscotch boards shaped like a giant DCK and balls chalked outside one of their houses the following morning if it were me. What is wrong with us that we have so many of these power tripping wannabe totalitarians among us? Get a letter prune your tree. I tell the landscapers prune the tree. Get a letter you didn't prune enough. Prune more. I tell landscapers you didn't prune enough. Prune more. Get a letter you prune too much. Tree doesn't fit standards anymore. Replace with same size tree. Double quote. I research and same size tree costs 700 plus planting plus removal of old tree. Tell hoa board get fk I'm not going to kill a perfectly good tree. Get letter we gonna fine you and learn your house or something. Paid a guy to dig up my tree then rotate it 90 degrees and replant it. Get letter thank you for replacing tree.